Hey, welcome to the Illinois Redneck Channel again, brought to you by Bigfoot Commander, the world's only non-electric Sasquatch call. It's guaranteed to get more responses than any other Sasquatch call on the market. It carries for miles. You almost always get a response. Oh, there's one now. There's one now. So, like I say, if you haven't seen any Sasquatches in your area, it's because you're not blowing a Bigfoot Commander. So go ahead and get your lips on a Bigfoot Commander today. Did he go? <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, sorry! Oh, I'm doing it again! Oh, I'm sorry! Well, Bigfoot Commander is not oh, responsible so, oh, for any oh, accidents oh. which may ha result in the use of this product. Hi, I'm Clark Mooneyham, coming to you again on the Illinois Redneck Channel. Today we're doing uh, part three of the folding uh, backpack slingshot rifle. If you watch the last two times, uh, you'll notice that I just had uh, uh, light power bands for uh, kids in there. Logan, go ahead and get your uh, gun out of the backpack. And I had mentioned before that you could uh, build extra forks if you wanted to go up in power if an adult wanted to use it or even uh, a more mature kid. So this is what the gun looked like. If you didn't see our other two videos, if you haven't seen the other two videos, go back and watch them. Go watch him put it together here. Uh, yeah, put it together. So it fits in the backpack and it folds out to a, a full-size slingshot rifle. So our objective for today was to increase the power. Now, you got the original fork? Yeah, I do. Now the original fork we had in the last two chapters of this series, uh, we tested it and it had 11 pounds of pull. It doesn't sound like very much, but it was uh, just enough for a kid. So I wanted to increase the power and just see how it would respond to more power. The first attempt I made, I just simply copied the wood exactly. Uh, and when I got it together, we tested it and the pull was increased to 39 pounds so that was maybe 350 percent increase in power but i noticed i had a problem after i uh, got it loaded the pouch was tending to pull up over the ball wanting to rotate over so i couldn't figure out for a while why that was well this was the first one that i made where the rubber is vertical instead of horizontal and I neglected to remember that this would probably be stretching the rubber more on the top than on the bottom and that's why it was trying to correct itself so to get everything back in line I had to drop the rubber down 21 millimeters uh, you should be able to see that. So 21 millimeters put everything back in line and equalize the uh, stretch from the top to the bottom. So we'll go ahead and put this one on the gun and uh, let him take a few shots. And last time we tried shooting a paint can and 11 pounds wouldn't penetrate the paint can. So uh, we're going to see a 39 pounds will after he takes a few practice shots. That's a, uh, that looks good. Okay. Okay. 
Logan's shooting, doing the shooting now because uh, it's his gun and also he's a better shot than Grandpa is. Way to the right there. Sight down the your shaft there. Okay, that's getting in there. <laughs> you got the, the cap. Okay, we'll try a little bit lower. <laughs> All right, now, okay, 39 pounds, it definitely made it shoot a lot harder, and uh, we may try for a part four where we take the power up even more, but maybe not, so until then, we'll see you next time. Uh, be sure to watch all our videos. Thank you.